welcome to Linda McAllister's YouTube channel. I'm Pin, and I have Hi. Linda here. I'm here. <laughs> we 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 come up with a little kind of it's not a challenge. It's a kind of it's a thing that we want to do together because we both. If if you follow Linda McAllister's channel, you probably know that we all both Linda and I ended up in America a month ago and we came home with some goodies. And one of the goodies that we came home with was a composition notebook. And we don't get these in England like this, this or in the Netherlands. No, yeah, or in, in Netherlands, in Europe. So yeah, it's a composition notebook and Linda got one and I got one. And now we're at the stage where we're home and settled down and we want to use them. So, we thought we'd do like a series of videos where we show you what we did with ours and take you on this journey of filling a hundred, how we fill a hundred pages, whether or not we do fill a hundred pages or how we go about filling up a composition notebook. And that's basically it. Well, let me show mine. No, this is mine. It's exactly the same as Pin, her notebook, nothing different. The tables in the back, you know. This is it. So, and I see you've got the wide ruled. Yes. Uh, mine is the college oh, ruled. Let me click to you. So mine says college ruled, which is yeah. slightly narrower, which we didn't realize until we no. got. But that's not an issue, which no. doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter because it's going to be painted over it. Yeah. So Linda, yeah. what are you gonna do in yours? I think um, I had the idea that I, when I normally paint or do stuff, I got a lot of leftovers, like it's on the okay. desk. Okay. So what you can do is just dip it in the paint and drag and let dry. Mm -hmm. Or I can give it a little starter, like you know, to break the book. And just put some paint in it already. That's, that's my plan. What about yours? But what's, let me ask you a few more questions. How does your book, what is the purpose of your book? Does yeah, it have an art journal or something? Is it, is it an art journal? Well, it's not really an art, it's more an art book. I'm not going to journal in it. Okay. I'm not going to write in it, I think. Okay. I think it will be an art book. Okay. What about yours? Oh, well, I'm thinking that I'll probably end up doing a little bit of everything. I mm. think I want to use this as an experiment book, mm -hmm. combining everything that I normally do in separate books. Yeah. I'll combine in one. So I really like journaling mm -hmm. and I really love junk journaling. But yeah. I really like sticking things in and collaging and stickers. Mm -hmm. And I really like doing a page where you're just doing an art page and in combining everything in one book and just seeing how it comes out. I, like an experiment book. Yeah. I just, you I know what they call it? They call it a visual journal. Like, is that what it's we, we know the Stratmore visual journal. Yeah. That, that journal is meant to draw in it like if you got like an um, an idea for a sketch you make a sketch in it you do the the swatches with the colors that you like next page you will like uh, write down what kind of uh, materials you use that's a visual book ah maybe this should be a visual journal to make it visual what you want to do like the color combinations like a sketch like Oh, like a pre-planning, like a yeah. pre-plan. Yeah. For me, no, I want this to be the complete article. I want this to be a, a montage of everything that I'm doing right now and everything I want to do on that day. So if I want to do sticking and journaling, I will. If I want to do a page that's just a background page, I will. If I want to... Do a, an art piece of a picture of a something. I will, and yeah. no, no limits. It's going to be a no limit book. 
if I get a new product, I might just want to do two lines on it to test out the pen, and that will yeah. be it, or the paint. Or well, a the same as a visual journal. Yeah, but but with a little bit more depth. Yes. So I think it's going to be everything. Yes. Everything. Yeah. And I'm not even going to limit myself. No. In any way at all. And how do you start? Do you start with, with page number one or you go to the middle and just... Do you know what? I don't page. actually know. I think I know that I'm going to probably have to glue some pages together because they're, to be honest, they're really pretty flimsy. And for what I like doing, I think I need a bit of, but I need a bit of stability because otherwise the pages are just going to rip off. Uh -huh. But then there will be some pages that are just one, you know, just a one page. Uh -huh. Because all I'm doing is putting a little bit of light color over it, and I'm going to do a little bit of writing. Uh -huh. And that'd be perfectly fine to have a, like this one page. But for like lots of sticking and folding out and. Uh -huh. uh, stuff you know it'd probably be better that i stick a few pages together okay i don't know i don't think it needs to be that i start at page one mm -hmm. no but i think i start somewhere in the middle because I otherwise if you start at page one your spine will break and like did you ever see my wait i'll show you when i can show you penny like this journal uh this is going the spine is going to be um you know Going to be oh, yeah. See? Oh yeah, can, I see what you this mean. This is another example that is going to warp if you don't really pay attention to it. So start in the back, then the, 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 the first page, and then in the middle. Just go a little bit up and down to avoid this. Okay. So, to avoid the distortion in the spine. Yes. Start in the middle because this spine is not really um you know yeah not really strong and mine yeah. i don't know if the same is with you but i only got one signature in it well mine is only one signature let me see you you're on the spotlight exactly look it's exactly yeah, it's the, the same. same it's one, one signature. signature sewed right down the center so there could be a little bit of a problem yeah i'm expecting it yeah I'm expecting it to all fall apart and me have to get the needle and thread in and go Woo, all the way along. <laughs> probably, probably, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I think that's a really good idea because because it's an anything goes book, it doesn't have to be in date order, does it? No. So, yeah. Yeah? You could start in the middle. Yeah, I think that's a good tip. Thank you very much. I think I'll follow that advice. Okay, you think. Yeah. When are, we, when are we going to start this project? As soon as you want. I mean, spotlight. My 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 composition note is in the spotlight and wants to be painted. So yeah, I got today. I can show you people. Today I got new paint, all new colors. Oh wow! Cool, cool huh? Beautiful. I've got all kinds of new colors to play with. I'm really happy with it. I was willing to buy them in America, but I couldn't find them. So when I came home, I was like, ah, I didn't get the paint. We couldn't find it, right, Pim? We didn't find as much as we would like to have. No. So I bought them here in the Netherlands. And I said, yeah, shall I do it or not? Because it's a kind of a feeling that you got what you want to buy. Yeah, yeah. I really want to have the paint on. So just chew, go for it. And, um, I'm going to paint in it. Just, you know, what my feeling is at the moment. A little bit of gesso in it. You know, just see what's going to happen, Ben. Come on. Yeah. Get the paint out. Well, you want me to do something? No, I'm watching you. Why? Oh, I I wasn't sure you were wanting to start today. Yeah, I wanted to start right now. Okay. Well, I'm going to start then, and that's the case. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stick those two pages together. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I'm going to get me the old glue stick out and stick the middle pages together. I want a bit of sturdy. Ooh. And you can see that the, um, the page starts to buckle already. 
Is it not holding up very well? Ooh. Well, it's not holding up with the glue either, if that's any consolation. Oh, let me show but, you. But okay, Penny is gluing and I'm like drying my um, gesso. And I'm adding gesso. I'm adding gesso. Of course, I hope it's getting a little bit sturdier that way, maybe. How are you going? Is it, yeah, it's a little bit bubbly, bubbly, right? Yeah, I'm going to do another one. I want a super strong page for my first try out on this book. Quite excited about using it, I have to say. I really am. Well, it was looking at me. Thank you, this came back like, yeah, I'm trying. Thank I you. But what? Because it's so cheap, you're free to use it how you want. And that's how I feel. It's like sometimes when you get those really expensive like journals from designer craft people. Yeah, like my journal, Marianne Reefly. Yeah, exactly. You know who I'm talking. You know what I'm talking about. And you yeah. and you spend quite a lot of money on them, and and you want them to be. I mean, the paper's gorgeous. The book is gorgeous. The whole the whole idea is fantastic. But you're almost terrified to use it. No, I can't. At the end, it's just paper, you know. I know, but I think, like, oh, I can't experiment in that one too much because that's just, like, wasting this really expensive book. And they're not cheap. They are expensive books. How's going, the gluing? Huh? How's the gluing going? Well, it's going. I'm sticking in. Yeah, I see that. And, uh, by the way, but, you know. Huh? You're a little bit blurry. And maybe because it's moving around a bit. Sorry about the blur, if it is. But yeah, so that's my view. It's like sometimes, for me, I'm a little bit protective of how much I've spent on something. Mm -hmm. And I want it, if I've spent a little bit or a lot of money on something, it's like, oh, it has to be, I have to make it worth it. It has to be something really good. Whereas this is... 88 enjoy it this is the ocean if you've never heard of uh this is heavy body paint it stays there if you don't do anything it's not like other paints it's not just not dripping up you know it ain't gonna drip but if you make it a little bit wet you almost get a whole page and I don't know what I want to do, to be honest. I just, you know. I just want to have some marks in it. And my gesture was really rough because. Because. Because, 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 because of the wonderful things that she does. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying out all the blues, you know. How do they go together? Probably wonderful. Yeah, this color reminds me a lot of uh, Crack's crack Pistachio. All right. Can you see it? Crack pistachio? Yeah. A little. A lovely colour. This is cracked pistachio. Let's see the difference. I think it's the same colour. Really? Mm -hmm. And this paint is really thin, as you can see. God, yeah, you're right. It's almost identical. The cracked pistachio. Oh, cracked pistachio is a little bit darker. Isn't the cracked pistachio from a different maker? It's distress, distress paint. Yes, yeah, so it's Tim Holtz. This one is brighter. Yeah, this one no, is brighter. One is Diane Reevely, and one is Tim Reevely. Holtz. Huh? Diane Wakely. Wakely. Yeah. Dina Wakely. Dina Wakely. Yeah. And the other is Tim Holtz Ranger. Yes. Okay. Okay, well, I'm I'm looking at 
Dina Wakeley, and hers looks a little bit bluer on my camera. Yeah. Well, it's it's green. It's kind of green. You know, it's like the colors are so not real on screen. It's totally different. Really? Yeah. What a shame. Yeah. And you can write with those little bottles. It's really nice. Oh yeah, I like this color. Which what which color is that then? Uh, wait. Blackberry. Oh. That is a nice color. Powerful. Oh yeah. Alrighty, I let this dry and I call it done for today. What about you? Yep. Let me see I'm how still glue, I'm still gluing pages together, so it's not much to show anybody. But yeah, cool. I can't wait to see what you do with your pages. Well, we shall see how they're dry and how your book develops. We'll see you next time. Okay. Take care. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye. Bye.